Hi, it's Brian McVickers with Overland Journal and Expedition Portal, and we're here at the 2023 Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona. We've got a new brand coming to the United States. It's called Kakadu. They're from Australia, and they come from a long heritage of other brands in Australia that they've been running for the past 15 years. One of the coolest things that they've brought to the show here is this portable water heater. And by portability, it really is. It's only 16 pounds. It runs off of a small green propane canister. It has one tube that brings the water in from your water source, whether it's a bucket or a stream or a lake. Then you've got another tube that comes out to your shower head. The water's gonna come in, go through a set of copper coils, and within about 10 seconds, it'll change the water temperature up to 42 degrees from ambient. So right now we've got water coming in at 86 degrees and it's coming out at 104 degrees. The system tops out at 120 degrees for safety where it has an automatic shutoff. When you come up to the shower system, just a flick of the switch here, and that's a nice steady flow of water. So the system can really fit in just about any little corner of your vehicle. It can go behind the back seat. It can go back in the cargo area. It does come with a larger storage bag, so you can include extra hoses, extra fuel. Um, it's got little wind dampeners. Uh, if you were to have wind come into here, the wind dampener closes so that it, the flame doesn't go out. Um, but it's just really impressive at how light and compact that is for a water heater. So back in Australia, the parent company to Kakadu has an extensive line of products Kakadu is going to be bringing about 40 different product SKUs to the U.S. market. And here we've got two of their tents. We've got the Sundowner Swag. This is a two-person swag. It also comes in a one-person model. It has a two-inch closed cell foam mattress and LED lighting on the inside. All the windows and doors close up to make this a waterproof four-season tent. Over here, they've got a one-person, they call it the stretcher tent which is an elevated cot tent. And that's about 35 pounds when packed up. And it gets you up off the ground, up off of the rocks, up off of any wet rain like we've seen here at the event for the last few days. So two really nice, small ground tent options from Kakadu. We're here at the Sea to Summit booth and we're taking a look at a few of their duffel bags. The first one is their standard duffel bag thousand denier nylon fabric. I have two of these bags in 90 liters that I have taken across the globe. Um, I've used them to cross the Altar Desert in Mexico. I've used them to cross the Pacific Ocean and I've gone all the way out to Attu Island in the Aleutians with these bags. And I've relied on them as the go-to gear hauler. And the one thing that I've found limitation with is that this is an incredibly durable gear hauler, but it does have a, a heavy duty standard zipper. It's splash proof, but it is not waterproof. So coming into this year, they've addressed a lot of those issues with a new Sea to Summit Hydraulic Pro. It's a thousand denier hydraulic fabric. It has a full backpack suspension system. It has probably a three quarter zipper that starts from the side and comes all the way down along with a side pocket. You've got lashing points on all four sides, a couple of nice burly handles. So here's where this type of a bag comes into play. It comes in several different sizes. You can strap it to the back of a motorcycle and use it for motorcycle touring, adventure riding. You can also have this type of a cargo bag that you can feel comfortable about strapping it onto your roof rack. You can throw it onto the deck of a boat. You can transition into a dugout canoe in the middle of the Amazon. You can really use this one bag as your go-to and not be concerned about the different conditions that you might run into. So we're here with Intrepid looking at their Geo 2.5 rooftop tent. Every once in a while, a little bit of ingenuity comes onto the rooftop tent market. And what they've done is they've added a hinge about a third of the way down the roof line that produces about 36% more volume inside the tent. So the length of the tent is seven feet long, it's four and a half feet wide, and only weighs 142 pounds. 
It's got T-Track along both sides so you can mount awnings and other accessories. It uses honeycomb aluminum to help save weight and has a nice plush two inch mattress on the inside. Then coming into next year, available in spring 2024, Intrepid's gonna have the Geo Solo, which is a 125 pound single person rooftop tent. The key here is it's only gonna take up half of your roof rack space. So if you tend to adventure alone or you wanna get really snugly, you can use this tent that's only gonna take up half of the space on the other side of the roof rack, you're still gonna be able to have mountain bikes, a rooftop box, your ski rack. It's gonna help you to conserve some of that space when you really only need a one person tent. We're here at the Bourne Outdoor booth and we're gonna take a look at their Badger bed. And it's a bit of a take on the Australian swag system, the old cowboy bed roll. And the whole system comes rolled up. It's got three straps that hold it closed and it unrolls and it has everything included. So in this container, if you will, we've got an inflatable mattress, a down blanket, a set of sheets that go over it. So everything you need comes in this little bedroll. On top of that, they have an optional duffel bag system that you can put the rolled bedroll into and then you still have enough room for your clothes, a set of boots, whatever else you need. So now you've got a one duffel bag system that can take you through your entire trip. Hello, I'm Scott Brady with Overland Journal and Expedition Portal, and I'm out here on a very rainy day at the Overland Expo, but that's what this is all about. This is about adventure, and I'm so glad to see so many people out to see this exciting new Tacoma. So this is the 2024 model. The one that's behind us is actually the Trail Hunter. So this has got a crew cab with a six foot bed. We've also got frame mounted rock sliders, 33 inch diameter tires, five link rear suspension, rear locking differential, the list goes on and on. You can even see a raised air intake on the vehicle. So this is an extremely exciting new model from Toyota.